Hi, uh, I'm here today to uh, show you how to fix the problem where your audio sort of falls farther and farther behind as you're recording or streaming. You um, basically the way this sounds and looks is you'll do something in like a game or whatever it is you're recording. Uh, and then as time goes on, uh, you'll do something and then it'll take like several seconds or, you know, some amount of time before the audio actually happens for that thing you did. Um, and this is different from just having a delay set incorrectly uh, because over time it gets worse. So at first the audio might be perfectly synced when you first start the stream or start recording and then maybe a few minutes in to the recording it starts falling behind and it gets worse and worse. Uh, and I actually left my console here running for a bit to demonstrate that uh, to you. So I'm going to hit this wall here and the audio is going to be delayed by a bit. So you can see, you know, the sword hits the wall and then a short moment after that you can actually hear the audio for it. Um, and I actually have an old video here from uh, when I was first doing this where I was really struggling with this problem. So in this video you'll see the character is going to drink from the flask and then I think almost like 10 seconds go by before you hear the drinking sound. And I'll, uh, I'll point out when that actually happens. So here the character drinks. No sound. There's the sound of the drink. Uh, as you can see, that was uh, almost 10 whole seconds delayed. And like I said, it gets worse and uh, worse over time. Um, so now let me uh, sort of explain what the problem is. Uh, basically, what's going on here is if you um, were trying to do research on this online, like I was, the thing you'll find fairly often as uh, the recommended solution is going through your audio devices to make sure that it matches the sample rate that you've set in OBS. Uh, so, you know, usually people prefer 48 kilohertz because it's the higher frequency. And then if you go to um, sound settings in Windows 10 right here, and then you go to the sound control panel, uh, and then here you have this little dialog that pops up you can see the settings for all your devices. And so if I click into my settings here and go to advance, you can see I set it to 48 kilohertz, 48,000. Uh, and you do that for all your devices just to make sure it all matches up. Um, but what's interesting about this problem is, as you can see, I've already set all of the devices to 48 kilohertz and it's set to 48 kilohertz in OBS, but you know we were still observing that audio lag. Um, and if you you can actually look at the OBS logs to um, see what's going on here. So here's the uh, the the OBS logs. You can find them in App App Data Roaming OBS Studio logs. Uh, and if you click into it here and we scroll down, let's look for the Elgato uh, sort of output that it produces. Uh, just scroll up here. Right, so here we can see, this is like where I noticed that we modified something about the Elgato card. Uh, and here you can see my, my Yeti mic, and you can see it's capturing at 48 kilohertz, because that's the setting we uh, chose. Uh, but then if you look at the Elgato card here, it's Elgato HD60X, and I think this same problem exists for the other versions of the card as well. Um, but if you look through here, you can see that the sample rate it's selected is actually 44 kilohertz. Uh, and that's what's causing the problem. It's that even though you've set everything properly in Windows or you know whatever in L in OBS, uh, you this uh, I don't know if it's a bug in Elgato or in OBS, but it's not actually picking up that setting. It's still recording the audio at 44 kilohertz. Uh, I didn't find a way to actually fix the issue with this capture source, but I did find a workaround that uh, addresses the issue, so that you don't have to deal with this anymore. And so what you need to do is go into uh, OBS and just disable the audio for the Elgato capture source. Uh, you can just press this little button here with, the, the, I guess, the speaker, and that'll disable it. And then uh, go to your settings for OBS and select uh, audio. 
and it'll open this window here. And what you want to do is for this global audio devices section, just go down to mic auxiliary audio and set that to your Elgato capture source. So mine says HDMI because I plugged it in via HDMI. And then it says game capture HD 60 X. So that's referring to my Elgato capture source. Uh, once you set that, it'll add this new little audio source down here called mic slash aux. Um, and that's actually capturing the audio from the Elgato capture card. But uh, if we reopen this log here, you'll notice something interesting about it. And that is, let me just open it. So we scroll down here. Let's see. Here is the, um, oh, so here is where we've updated the settings where we've added that new audio source. Uh, and it says, uh, you know, win Wasabi mic aux, which is what I was referring to in OBS here, this mic slash aux thing. Uh, and if we look down here to the audio settings for it, you'll see it says, okay, you're doing your Elgato capture card, but it's actually capturing at the correct frequency. It's capturing at 48 kilohertz, 48,000 hertz. Um, I don't really know, like I said, uh, it's probably just a bug in either the Elgato software or the OBS software. But by doing this, it actually captures at the right frequency. And if we do our test here again, you know, uh, the console's been running this whole time, and as you saw, it was it was lagging pretty badly. Now the audio will be synced up properly, uh, and it won't fall behind over time because it's actually capturing at the correct rate now. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do to fix that. You shouldn't need to touch anything after that. It'll just be working correctly. Um, you may need to, you know, occasionally change the settings uh, in your audio if you don't want to actually capture the audio from the capture card anymore, or you can just like disable it by hitting that button. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And, uh, you know, I couldn't really find anything about this online, so I thought I'd just post a short little video. Uh, and I'm probably gonna keep posting videos like this where if I learn something interesting, um, you know, how I, figured out what the problem was and like how to address it. Uh, I just started sort of making videos and streaming for fun. So if you're aware of any issues like this or you want to learn more, you know, feel free to just follow or subscribe. And uh, next time I post something, you'll, you'll see it. Um, so, you know, hopefully this fixes the problem for you. And if it does, uh, have fun, you know, recording or streaming, whatever it is you're going to do and uh, have a nice rest of your day.